दिस इज गेट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स 2014 क्वेश्चन अ मल्टीप्लेक्सर इज गिवन टू यू एट बाई वन मल्टीप्लेक्सर इज गिवन टू यू दैट इज यूज टू इंप्लीमेंट अ लॉजिक फंक्शन दैट इज वाई नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग वॉट इज दिस फंक्शन वाई ओके दिस फंक्शन इज इंप्लीमेंटेड सो द क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग वॉट इज द फंक्शन दैट इज इंप्लीमेंटेड सो यू कैन सी दिस इज अ एट बाई वन मक्स ओके एंड दीज आर द सेलेक्ट लाइन्स यू कैन सी इन द इन एट बाई वन मक्स देर आर थ्री सेलेक्ट लाइन्स दीज आर द सेलेक्ट लाइन्स एस जीरो एस वन एस टू हियर यू कैन सी दिस एस टू दिस इज योर एम एस बी दिस वेरिएबल ए दैट इज कनेक्टेड टू एम एस बी एंड वेरिएबल सी दैट इज कनेक्टेड टू एल एस बी ओके नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग वॉट इज दिस वाई सो यू कैन राइट द इक्वेशन फॉर वाई वेरी इजिली ये सो नो वी कैन इजिली राइट द इक्वेशन फॉर वाई सी If you want, you can directly write. But let me just explain this: that these are the select lines S two, S one, S zero. Now you can see variable A that is connected to S two. Variable B is connected to S one. Variable C is connected to S zero. Okay. Now this is your function y. You can see when all are zero, then what will be the output? In this multiplexer, this is a multiplexer. You can see when. This is the select line. When all A, B, C, these are zero. Means select line S two, S one, S zero. When all are zero, then you can see the output will be I zero, and that is zero. Output will be I zero. That is zero. You can see I zero is zero. Next, when you have zero zero one, then in this situation output will be I one, and I one is equal to D. When you have zero one zero, then the output will be I two, and I two is zero. When you have zero one one. Then output will be I three and I three is equal to D. You can see yes or no. When you have one zero zero, then output will be I four and I four is equal to zero. When you have one zero one, then output will be I five that is zero. When you have one one zero, then output will be I six that is one. When you have one one one, then output will be I seven that is zero. Yes or no? Now you can write the equation for y. Now you can write the equation for y. So what will be the equation? Equation will be like this: that when all are zero, A, B, C. When all are zero, means A bar, B bar, C. A bar, B bar, C bar. When all are zero, then output is zero. Yes or no? When all are zero, then output is zero. Then this function value is zero. You can see. When A, B, C all are zero, then you can see this y will be equal to i zero. Means this y will be equal to zero. You can see. A bar, B bar, C. Then in this situation, this y will be d. Okay. Similarly, you can notice a bar, b c bar. In this situation, a bar, b c bar. In this situation, the output will be zero. Next, you can see a bar, b c. In this situation, output will be d. Next, you can see a b bar, c bar. In this situation, output will be zero. Next, you can see a. Then b bar, c. In this situation, output will be what? A B bar C. In this situation, output will be zero. Next, you can see A B C bar. In this situation, output will be one. And finally, you can see that A B C. In this situation, output will be zero. Okay, okay. Yes or no? So this is just for understanding purpose. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do this because you can see many inputs are zero. This is 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 zero. Many inputs are zero. So remember, this is just for explanation purpose. This is just to make you understand. If you have any doubt, also this is only for explanation purpose. You don't have to do this. Okay, in the gate exam, you don't have to create this table. You don't have to write this expression. You can directly write the expression. Okay, let's directly write the expression. The expression will be like this. What will be this y? Y will be equal to. You can easily see that will be a bar. Okay, just focus on where you have non-zero value. Focus on where you have non-zero value. That is a bar b, a bar b bar c. In this situation, the value is d. Or just focus where you have non-zero value. I three, I three means a bar b c. In this situation, also value is d. Next, you can see next value is this. That is a b c bar. In this in this situation, the value is one. Yes or no? So this is the point. Now you can see this is your y. Now you can simplify this. So the equation y you got, the equation y that is a bar b bar c d or 
ए बार बी सी डी और ए बी सी बार ए बी सी बार सो दिस इज द इक्वेशन दैट यू गोट नाउ यू कैन सिंप्लीफाई दिस ओके नाउ लेट सिंप्लीफाई दिस टोटल मी हाउ विल यू सिंप्लीफाई दिस लेट सिंप्लीफाई सो हाउ टू डू दैट फ्रॉम हियर यू कैन टेक ए बार सी डी आउट यस और नो फ्रॉम हियर यू कैन टेक ए बार सी डी यू कैन टेक आउट ए बार सी डी यू कैन टेक आउट सो दैट विल बी बी बार और बी इफ यू टेक ए बार सी डी आउट ओके देर इज ए बी सी बार हियर देन फाइनली वॉट यू गॉट दिस विल बिकम वन यस और नो दिस विल बिकम वन सो फाइनली यू गॉट ए बार सी डी और ए बी सी बार इज दिस गिवन इन द ऑप्शन ए बार सी डी और ए बी सी बार ए बार सी डी ए बार सी डी और ए बी सी बार यस सो ऑप्शन सी विल बी द आंसर ओके यू कैन सी ऑप्शन सी विल बी द आंसर सो वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन रिमेवर द क्वेश्चन इज वेरी सिंपल just for explanation the question this is the question that is given to you just for explanation i have created the truth table okay just to explain the behavior of multiplexer this is a multiplexer 8 by 1 multiplexer in this 8 by 1 multiplexer there are three select lines there are eight data input lines and there is one output lines okay and you can see when all are zero this select lines this is the control you can say when this control inputs these are zero all zero then this input will go to the output when all are one then this input will go to the output you can see so this truth table this tells you this tells you what will be the output for different different combinations of select lines on the select line if you put different different combinations then what will be the output this is what this truth table is telling you okay so this truth table you don't have to create in the gate exam from this truth table you can write the expression like this this is the expression for y this is the expression for output again this is just for explanation purpose you don't have to write this in the gate exam you can directly write okay this equation you can write directly and then you can simplify this equation you can simplify your final answer will be a bar cd or a b c bar okay is this clear very simple if you want you can create k map also okay but this is best way okay because this is a small expression you can see this expression that is given to you this is a small expression so the best way is simplification of course if you want you can create a k map also four variable k map you can create you can create a four variable k map a b c d four variable k map you can create and then you can solve okay but that will take some time four variable k map if you create that will take some time so what you can do the best way is you just do this simplification this simplification will take less time okay or you can eliminate the options or what you can do once you have this equation this equation you have y equal to this expression once you have this expression you can eliminate the options okay some options you can eliminate anyway the answer will be option c